Okay, hello, hello, and welcome to another quick tutorial uh, from me. My name is Jay, I'm a coding tutor, and uh, today what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show how to use Irfan View. Now, Irfan View is a software, there you go, that's, that's the Irfan View website, and what it does is, it's a very, very basic image uh, viewer and image editor as well, it has some very, very simple uh, editing tools. Now, the reason why I'm talking about it as a tutor, I mean, I'm in the, I'm in the world of programming and coding, so where does Irfan view and, and photo viewing and photo editing come into the picture? Now, the thing is, now let me quickly log into my CodePen website. Okay, now, obviously, CodePen is a online editor. I use this to teach um, in my classes, uh, HTML and CSS and so on. Now, for example, now let's take this one. I just created this yesterday. I was doing a workshop. Now, when I open this, you'll notice that, yes, I have um, a simple display image, right? So there you go. So that is that is an example. That's what I'm talking about. So when you're working through HTML and CSS and stuff like that, I mean, obviously, you would have to play around with images. I mean, any website you visit will uh, will have a combination of text and images and some video and audio and so on. But images and text make up a majority of a website. So whether you like it or not, you'll frequently find yourself playing around with images. Uh, that is why I like Irfan View. The first time I saw this software was like, I think I was 15 years old or something, maybe even younger than that. Uh, I'm, I'm about 40 now, so it's very, very useful. And, and I strongly recommend that students just install it on their computer, just use it because they never know when they might need it. So there, that's my reasoning, and that is another reason why I'm making this video, because in my classes, I tell my students to fill their practice websites and demo projects with images, and they should know some basic image editing. So that is the reason. Now, first thing is, I have the link already, so you can go ahead and download the Irfan View version, either the 32-bit or 64-bit. I don't think it makes really any kind of difference. Uh, they both pretty much operate the same way. Uh, but since most computers today are 64-bit, you should just go ahead and download the 64-bit version. Now, another thing is, um, now obviously, I have something of a, you know, photography hobby. So I do some photography uh, whenever I am free and I have some money to spend and so on and so forth. So if you're playing around with, say, raw images, you know, like, for example, you can see here, this image is CR2. You know, that's the raw image format from um, from my DSLR. So if you're playing around with, um, with with raw images, then you should definitely consider downloading the plugins. All right, so you got to make sure that you uh, download the plugins uh, because if you don't download it, you won't be able to open it. So, however, I have installed um, the Irfan View plugin, so I am able to right-click and simply open the images here, and there you go. That's a... A raw format and that that opens just fine if I go to my details here hold on uh, view uh, image yeah, image information you can see here that it is a uh, raw format image and it opens just fine on your form view so just make sure that you know I don't think any of my students are photographers so they may not have raw images but still there will be that one student who is like me and has a photography hobby so if you are that one student, then please go ahead and download and install the plugins as well. It's a very short download, so it'll work just fine. So that's the first thing. That's about how you would go about installing it from you. Just download it. It's a free software, as is, as is the case with majority of software tools these days. Now, next thing is, what are the most common things that you do? Uh, and of course, you can visit my website. I, I mean, that same website has my photography as well. If you want to check it out, I have my Discord. Uh, check that out. So first step is installation. Okay, so installation, just make sure that, uh, let me copy paste this here. So just make sure that you are downloading the main software and also, you know, install the plugins. Okay, all right, so that is what I would recommend. Um, you know, you can just Google it or, you, you know, you saw the link 
in the video, so just Google it and get it and install it on your machine. Now after this, what are the basic things that we do with images? Now one common problem that, that we face is image size, right? Now that is another reason why I'm taking the example of the raw image. You know, For instance, if I go back to my practice folder here and I open this image, uh, you can see that this image is about 26 MB. Now, obviously, that's not going to work out. And the resolution of the image is also very, very big. So if I go here and say original size, look at that. That's how big the image is. It's extremely big. It's too big, actually. So that, that kind of image sizes will simply not work for a web project and so on. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, image uh, resize it, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new slide for that. So the most common things you would do is image uh, resize, okay? Uh, both in terms of resolution, whoa, 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 hold on. You know, many times I accidentally keep um, closing PowerPoint because of the shortcut, ah, sorry about that. There are two things you're thinking about here. One is the resolution, that is the X number of pixels um, and and Y number of pixels, okay? And the second is the actual quality and format, okay? So these two things decide how big or small the file size is going to be. And, and now what I'm going to do is, uh, the very common thing you do is you'd resize the image so that it becomes smaller. So right now you can see it's pretty big with 100% zoom. So I'm going to go here on the top and there's an option called resize. Okay, and here I just want to make sure that it is like the standard computer monitor is 1920. So I'm gonna go with 1920. There is an option here called preserve aspect ratio. So you want to make sure that it's selected. The other options, you know, it's fine, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna just go with that and there we go. Okay, so now it's like, okay, 1920. So that is 100% again. So let me go ahead and make it 100% view uh, original size. And there it is, it's 100%, so this is much better. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save it. Now this is where you really uh, save. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna call this Airfon view uh, tutorial one, okay? And here I'm going to choose JPEG because it gives you a very nice compression. Okay, that's all this is about, compressing the image. It gives you a very nice compression, so I'm going to select JPEG. Sometimes you may want to use PNG as well, which is fine, but I'm going to just stick to using JPEG. Now, there are multiple JPEG formats here. Just use JPEG, uh, the standard JPG. And again, the quality, you can keep it at 100. You can change it to 50, it's really up to you. You'll get some really low sizes while maintaining most of the image. I'm gonna keep it at 100, I'm fine with it. Uh, or maybe 90, just to make it a compromise because usually the last 10% is where more detail is crammed. So, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and say, uh, save. And then I'm going to save, save. Ah, there we go. So if I go back to my folder, now there you go. Now you can see here that the original file is, I think it's, this one, yeah, look at this. This file is, original file is 26 MB. The original is 26 MB. And now the one which was resized is 415 KB. There you go. So that is the difference we are talking about. Now KB is like roughly half MB. So that's like. And, and this is something which you will notice uh, plenty of times because you know many times you will try to, uh, for example, I tell my students that they should always uh, go ahead like on github.com or something. Uh, I, I always tell them 
uh, that they have to go ahead and update their profile photo and stuff like that and all the websites like CodePen and other places you will see that they will have some kind of a, a size limitation like the image cannot be more than half a MB or 1 MB and things like that so that's another reason why I, I feel Irfan View is so so important so it's like a basic tool and as a developer you should know it Okay, so that is one thing which you can do, you know, you have to say, you know, you have the image and the original is really too big and then you can use your font view to make it smaller. So that's the first thing. And second uh, thing I like about your font view is that uh, image cropping. Another basic step that I keep doing in my uh, HTML and CSS classes. So let's look at that. So I'm going to go for this this um, this image again I'm gonna go with the original image and I want to play around with the original quality so I have this so what I want to do is I just want to make like a profile photo or something so all I have to do is just take my mouse and I can simply select okay so let's say I'm just trying to make a profile photo of like a portrait photo right there we go and then if I want to move it around I can use the right click and I can adjust so I just want to make sure that it's exactly in the center ah, there we go okay so there it is I put it exactly in the center now on the top left corner I'll go to edit and then I'm going to click on crop so now there we go so I have this much okay now I can do some basic uh, image editing as well so if I go to image I have uh, color corrections so I can go here there you go I can maybe improve increase the contrast a little bit I can reduce you know, I can make it black and white you know or I can increase the color too much or make it less you know I'm gonna just keep it light on the lighter side of things and I can even increase or decrease the brightness so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker here so some basic editing I'm not saying this is Photoshop but you know, it's, it's good enough for me and then I'm gonna click on OK so there you go so I was able to make some basic image corrections and then I'm going to go ahead and click on save and then now I'm going to say you know I'm gonna just call this it for me tutorial 2 again JPEG you know I can set the settings and uh, this everything so I can click on save and there you go so I can see here again it's saved so there it is uh, but again you know it's become too big you know once again it's like 1 MB so what we can do is we can take this file I can go to image and I can say resize and there's a button called half I use this a lot whenever I have the image is too too big I just click on half or even even smaller than that again half you can click in half or double until you get the size you're looking for so I want a very smaller size image so 500 width and 700 height is enough so again I'm just gonna click on OK and there you go I'm gonna click on save control s and then I'm gonna just call this uh, small size and I'm going to say um, uh, save and now there you go I have the same image this is like 1 MB but the same image now is like 140 KB so there's a basic uh, image operation that we do uh, with the cropping okay so all you have to do is uh, with your left mouse select the area okay and then just you know move it around with your right click move it around with right click I think the text is becoming too big let me uh, reduce that here ah, there we go let me keep it at 48 okay yeah all right then so that is all they know that's the only thing you know just to summarize first step just go ahead and go to the Irfan view website you can just google it right and then you can install I uh, don't forget that there are two things really there is the main software which is which is uh, which has majority of the features but like I said you know if you're like me and you have uh, raw format images uh, then you need to install the plugins if you don't have any raw format then you don't really need to install the plugins but it's a small download you might as well um, uh, do it along with the main software installation next you have uh, the first thing that I normally do with images is you know they're too big I use the image uh, resize option to uh, get a smaller file size and also reduce the resolution which is very important both resolution and quality uh, impact the size so if you have a file which is like a big file 26 MB which most websites will not allow you to uh, upload anyway and I mean you need to compress things as it is so you can compress and make them smaller or even even more smaller if you want by, by adjusting the quality and of course another thing that we do a lot in, in when we are playing around with images is image cropping so you want to go ahead and do that too with Irfan view so there are the, and, and I saw you that you can do some basic 
um, uh, play around with some basic settings. It's not Photoshop, of course, but so a lot of time that is more than enough for your basic uh, usage. So there you go, my dear students. Uh, that is how you use Airphone View. Very useful, especially when you're practicing HTML and CSS. As always, I have my website. You can visit my website. And of course, I have my Discord channel. Uh, please uh, do join uh, if you want to um, you know, join our student community and so on. Thank you. Thank you.